Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video where today, yet again, we've got another 2022 Tops Update baseball rip. We've got two more retail boxes, so it's going to be another big rip. So hopefully, hopefully over the last few videos we've done, you've got a good sense of what you want to buy. I mean, I'm sure you guys have, most of you have probably already ripped some of this product, but hopefully this might sway you one way or another towards... Uh, blasters or retail boxes. I've ripped hobby boxes or a hobby box. Also ripped hanger boxes. So hopefully you've gotten a pretty solid review from the channel. Um, we've pulled some pretty awesome stuff from these uh, from these rips and I'm loving this. I'm honestly probably going to buy more. I don't know how much more I'll rip on camera, but definitely buying more of this product. If you want to see more of it, I have done a lot, but if you do want to see more, uh, let me know down below. Four packs at a time, so I'm going to do a little bit of a super rip here, um, and then we can get right into it. The last video we did of the two retail boxes was a little longer, so I'm sure this one will be just a little longer, um, but hopefully you guys will stick around to see what we pull. Um, I've got high hopes for these retail boxes because we've done, I'd say we've done very well uh, on the retail boxes. And I definitely would recommend that if you if you want to buy this product, you, you really can't go wrong with any formats, honestly. Um, you really can't. Um, so I, I would recommend you try out these retail boxes, especially if you think, like me, you think the uh, retail or the hobby boxes are just a little bit expensive. Um, I, I just think that they're a little bit high in price. They're going up as well. So if you, the, the main difference between the retail boxes and the hobby boxes is just that the, uh, the hobby boxes are guaranteed one autograph or one autograph or memorabilia, which it's very likely that you'll pull a memorabilia card. Um, if I'm being honest. So that's the main difference. And these are, I got these for $79 a piece before taxes. Um, looks like we got a numbered card here coming up to $4.99. I think these are, I want to say green, green foil. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Either green or red. Up oh, and I showed it by accident. <laughs> um, yep, it's green. It's Nick Castellanos to $4.99 is going to be our first one. I will take that as a Phillies fan. As a Bobby Witt Jr. stars of MLB, definitely take that. But yeah, the retail boxes, they're really fun. You get a lot of cards. So if you like building sets, um, definitely go for the retail boxes. Obviously going to be a lot of cards. There's 24, uh, 24 packs per box. So you're going to get a lot of cards, uh, which is nice. So if you like building sets, retail boxes are probably... Probably your your best bet. Um, the blaster boxes are also very good. If you've been watching the blaster boxes, then you know that we've done really well on those boxes. Um, so they're definitely a buy if you can find them. I'd recommend if you're looking for them, you can't find them at your store. Um, I would say go on eBay because a lot of people sell these. A lot of people sell these at the price that you would get them in the stores. I don't know how these people make money, but I bought these blaster boxes that I was that I've been ripping for uh, twenty four ninety nine. Plus, I got one for twenty bucks. Um, so you can find these on eBay for the price of the store if you can't find them at the store. Uh, I haven't been able to find them at the stores lately since the since the new year started. Oh, we got a backwards card since the new year started. I, not a single store around me has stocked. So the stores are, they're, they're, the shelves are completely empty. It's kind of ridiculous, but um, let's see what we got here. Um, Okay, so it's a Rowdy Telez Gold to 2022. I saw, I don't, I keep doing that. I look at the code to see if it's a short print and then it has the same code as a base card. And I'm like, oh, it's just a base card backwards. No, it's a gold. <laughs> the, the parallels have the same code. Um, and yeah, guys, by the way, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flip everything. Um, so apologies if you are annoyed at me not flipping things, but it just, 
takes so much longer. Hey, there's a Bobby Witt and J-Rod back-to-back. I'm not going to flip every time um, because we'll just have to flip right back. The one thing I have noticed about at least the retail boxes that I've ripped, the, the centering is all off. Um, well, not all, but most mostly off to the left. Um, they're leaning towards the left. So not all of them, like this one's leaning towards the right. But a lot of the nice cards that I've pulled, like nice rookie cards, they're all leaning to the left. So it's I doubt it's it's not going to be like that in every box. Um, but just my my boxes specifically have been like that. So I don't know, just an observation I've made. But yeah, guys, if you are, I know this, this product isn't, I guess, I don't know if you could call it new. I don't think I'd call it new. It's, it's been out for at least a month, but if you're looking for something to rip, um, these are definitely a good, a good buy with the, I've said it before with the checklist and, um, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I love tops. I love tops baseball, man. It's, it's so fun. Um, there's a say a Suzuki. We've got a Topps Black Gold coming up. Hey, wow, okay. That came out of nowhere, guys. The blue, the Royal Blue Bobby Witt Jr. Rookie Debut. Wow, very nice. Let's go. CJ Abrams right behind that. Let's put this one in the sleeve right away. We have been crushing it with the Bobby cards, man. Man, I, I've been wanting to start a Bobby PC. And... Centering looks decent. Um, I've been wanting to start a Bobby PC, and I have like a couple nice Bobby cards, but we're definitely adding to it. We've got a Bobby Witt Royal Blue rookie debut, and we've also had we've also had the gold uh, base rookie, the gold base rookie card of him as well, and we've also had a rainbow foil rookie card of him. So these. These rips have been very fruitful when it comes to Bobby Wood Jr. So I'm definitely liking that. I'm typically, you guys know, I, I say it in a lot of my videos, I'm all about Julio Rodriguez. I already have a PC of him. Really like him a lot. Um, how can you not? He's so fun to watch. But, man, I really like Bobby Wood Jr. as well. So I'm definitely happy about all these Bobby pulls. So let's see. We got a rainbow foil here. Not a rookie. It's going to be Max Scherzer. Okay. I mean, if you're going to get a... Wait a second. We've got a short print. Ooh, very nice. Wow. Off-centered, but very nice. We pull a short print. Awesome. We'll definitely sleeve this one up right away as well. I don't want to sleeve up... I don't want to sleeve up every nice card we pull um, because I know that it takes a little bit of time, but... And these short prints, I love the short prints of the, uh, the Hall of Famers and old timers. So very nice to add to my collection of those. Sweet. So this this first retail box has been pretty nice. Pretty nice. We'll take it. Usually, I, I've heard that usually you'll get about one short print. Uh, one short print per retail box. Actually, let's see if this is a... Okay, so this is a regular short print. The code 50, 59, those are the regular short prints. 60 are super short prints, and 61 are ultra short prints, I think they're called. Very nice. All right, so we're halfway through this first retail box. Let's make it happen. See what else we got in here. We got Topps Black Gold coming up. Oh, there's a J-Rod rookie debut. Awesome. And it's going to be Rafael Devers. Sorry, guys. I was like completely off to the left of the screen right there. My bad. Got a Rizzo. Stars of MLB. There's a Wander debut. I've pulled so many of those Wander debuts. So many. 
out of these boxes, which I'm not mad about. A lot of O'Neill Cruz as well. We've been getting a lot of the top guys that you want to pull out of here. There's George Kirby. Joe Ryan's a nice one as well. Oops, throwing Mr. Tim Anderson all over the place. There's a Seiya Suzuki. I really like this rookie debut card. Just looks cool. He's just signing autographs. So cool. Like when they add in pictures that that are pretty cool. Oh, we got a rainbow foil, and I just ruined it. But nothing crazy. Uh, rookie combos for the athletics. So I've been meaning to ask you guys. Um, I've been asked to do breaks. I've been asked to do breaks on the channel. Um, and I've had uh, quite a bit of interest from folks asking to do breaks and if I'll ever do breaks. Um, I don't know. I, so I, I kind of wanted to ask you guys and see, like, how many of you would actually want to do breaks? I, I never... I, I can, I've always considered like maybe someday I'll do breaks, but I don't know. I really like doing, doing personal rips. Like that's what I, that's what I enjoy the most is, is doing personal rips. But honestly, doing breaks would be a lot of fun. And I think people would enjoy it. There's a Bobby Witt debut. I think people would enjoy it. So I've been considering it. I don't know if you guys are, if you guys think that would be fun, uh, let me know. There's a Royal Blue sideways not a rookie it's going to be new tests for the west okay chris bryant and freddie freeman kenzie gore as well george kirby stephen kwan debut oh out of no no way oh my god guys out of nowhere oh my god Bobby Witt Jr. rookie debut vintage stock to 99. What? Guys, what is going on? I'm sorry to yell, but holy sh Nikes. Oh my god. Holy. I'm going so, so fast through these that I'm like completely missing that there's a backwards card. Holy shit. Bobby Witt Jr. debut vintage stock to 99. Wow. 27 of 99. What is happening? Guys, these boxes have been hot. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, guys. You really got to rip this product if you haven't. Oh, my. There's another J-Rod. Wow. <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. And I was just thinking today, I'm like, it would be pretty cool to get like a Bobby or a J-Rod vintage stock. Oh, shit. Wrong pile. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my God. Okay, we're not even done, guys. Rookie, Adrian Martinez on the Royal Blue. We're not even done, guys. We're, we're almost done with the first box. Like, we're not even on the second box yet. And we're, we're doing very well for ourselves. We got a rainbow foil coming up. Let's keep it hot. Flip it. Yeah, I kind of showed a little bit of it. Andrew McCutcheon on the rainbow foil. Wow. I, I still can't believe it. I'm sorry that I kind of yelled, guys, but holy crap. That just, that just totally caught me off guard. Oh, my God. I looked at the, the thing that caught me off guard is I looked, I flipped the card and I or I, I was going through the cards out of nowhere. I see out of 99. I'm like, oh, wait, we have a vintage stock. And then I realized it was Bobby. I was like, holy crap. Insane. Man, I... See, I was considering buying more of this product. And it's like, now they've... Now they've sucked me in. They have pulled me in. I mean, I couldn't help it, guys. I can't help it. They've pulled me in. Now I have to buy more of this product. <laughs> now I have to. So sad. Unfortunately, I just have to buy more of this product. <laughs> All right. There's a... Who's this? Johnny Mize. St. Louis Cardinals. Huh. Interesting. 
I don't know if I know who Johnny Mize is. So I apologize. Wow. We are doing well for ourselves, guys. I'm looking for more of those short prints, though. I'm really hoping we get another one, uh, like, of a legend. I really like those a lot. There's a J-Rod All-Star game. It's a nice one. Take that. What else do we got in this? It looks like we got a Stars of MLB Tops Chrome. There's a Bobby base card. It is Seiya Suzuki. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Looks like we got a backwards card here. We've got something backwards. Let's see if it's numbered. To 2022. Nationals. Huh. Cesar Hernandez. Okay. All right. Cesar Hernandez, former Philly. I really liked him when he was in Philly. Still a solid player, having a decent career. All right. I was hoping maybe that... I saw Washington in the gold, and I, I was hoping maybe it would be uh, C.J. Abrams. But honestly, I can't remember. Does, is C.J. Abrams on the Nationals in this? In this, Or is he... I'm sure we'll find out in just a sec. I can't remember if he's... They have him on the Nationals uniform or if they have him in the Padres uniform. I want to say he's still in the Padres uniform. But... I'm not sure. We'll find out when we pull one of his cards again. All right, guys, we're on to the next retail box. This is the second retail box. This is Torkelson. We're having a nice rip here. We've got a nice pile of uh, some of the top rookies. It's Jose Miranda. And we got Bob Feller on the die cut. I've been checking those lately because you can't really tell. Um, you can barely tell what the parallels are because they're, they're pretty colorful. Um, so I've been flipping and we pulled a parallel of Lou Gehrig to two ninety nine in the last rip. So it's hard to tell, but nice. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what we got in this second. Whoops. We got a Royal blue. Looks like a pitcher. Oh, it's Mike. Uh, Brousseau, I'm not 100% sure how to say his name, Torkelson, Abrams, okay, so he is in the Padres uniform, I thought so, and McCutcheon on the back, all right, all right, so we're making decent, decent timing. We're definitely making better timing than we did in the uh, the last retail box video. Definitely making better timing than that video. Um, I think it helped that we paused in the in the beginning and uh, and I ripped all the packs out of the box first. I think that saved us some time. All right. I think we have a Topps Black Gold O'Neill Cruz. I see Pirates. I would love to add that to the collection. And yes, sir, it is an O'Neill Cruz. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Sweet. Bryson Stott, Stars of MLB. There's a J-Rod. I'm starting to understand who's behind too. Like I saw Nick Lodolo and I was like, I think J-Rod's behind him. Starting to figure that out a little bit, at least for some of the top guys. We got a backwards card. There we go. There we go. Is it numbered to 299? What team? Oh, okay. Elliot Ramos. Not bad. I mean, we. This is going to be an orange, orange foil. Um, Elliot Ramos to 299. Nice. We'll take it. We'll put him on a stand as well. I don't think he had a great rookie year. Because I looked him up. I looked him up after we pulled that short print of him the other day. I think he batted like 100 in his rookie year. But hey, I'll never complain about a rookie parallel. Because you just never know. Guys have terrible rookie campaigns all the time. End up having a nice career. So that's just baseball. Baseball. 
Leo Arias. Okay. So nothing crazy too far from this first, from this first retail, or sorry, the second retail box. First one was a banger. First one was crazy, man. Guys, let me know down in the comments. Should I buy more of this? Like, are you guys enjoying these rips? Let me know. Because I think I, I think I have to buy more of it. Actually, let me know down in the comments if I should do more videos of it. Because I'm definitely going to buy more of it. Looks like we got a gold in this stack. Um, but should I, should I rip more on camera, I guess is my question. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I just don't know how much of this you guys would want to see. Um, I know not everybody on the channel watches baseball. Uh, I do a lot of baseball rips on this channel. Uh, wow, that card is incredibly off-centered. <laughs> um, I do a lot of baseball rips on this channel. Uh, it's my favorite sport. Even though I... I don't know. It's basically tied with, tied with football. I love both of them. Also a big basketball fan as well. Um, but... Do you guys want to see more of it? Because <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. For the people who watch who are not baseball fans, I'm sure this isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but for me, this is this is good fun. Lots of upside down cards right now. Okay. Maybe I should flip it. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> as soon as I flipped it, we would have had to flip it again. So I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> All right, we have a gold coming up here. Is that a rainbow foil as well? Mm, yes, it is. Okay. And it is a Baltimore Oriole. Not a rookie. It's going to be Robinson Chirinos. Okay. And on the back, we've got Javi Baez. And our gold. I think it's a gold. going to be Los Angeles. We're just going to flip it over. It is Tyler Anderson on the gold. So nothing crazy there. I don't really know if there's any any real solid LA rookies in this checklist anyway. Maybe I'm just not thinking of someone. But honestly, I saw the T and I thought it I thought it might have been Trevor Bauer. I don't know if I don't know if Trevor Bauer is on this checklist, to be honest. I I don't think I've seen any of his cards, so maybe he's not. Um, what do you guys think about the whole Trevor Bauer thing, though? Like, would you want your team? Would you want your team signing him? Um, considering the Dodgers are the Dodgers are basically paying his salary. I mean, they are paying his. Salary. I think they owe him. I think they owe him like twenty two mil this year. So pretty much. If a team signs Trevor Bauer, they can sign him to the league minimum um, and basically almost get him for free, uh, essentially, as a J-Rod. Um, so, I don't know. Would you guys want your team to sign him? I think Tyler Anderson, stop following me. Go away, bro. Um, <laughs> I, I think I personally, I, I would like, I would definitely say if the Phillies signed Trevor Bauer, I'm a Phillies fan. If, if they sign Trevor Bauer, I'd be pretty happy about it. Uh, just because I think he's still got a lot left in the tank. I know it's very controversial. Uh, maybe it's controversial for me to even say that, but I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't be mad if they signed him. We got a backwards card here coming up. Let's see what we got. Maybe a short print. It is numbered to 499. I think these are red... Texas Rangers. We're just going to flip. It is Albert Abreu. I think he's a relief pitcher. So definitely not what we wanted there. Dude, I still can't believe we pulled that vintage stock Bobby to 99. That is such a nice card. I mean, I was I was happy with just the, the royal blue Bobby. Like, I was happy with that. And then they threw us a... They threw us a vintage stock. Like, okay. I mean, go ahead. <laughs> All right, guys. We got 
eight more packs. So we're gonna do continue to do four packs at a time uh, twice and see what else we get. Uh, I'm still hoping we pull a short print out of this second retail box because we haven't had one yet. Um, but we'll see. Let's let's see what we got left in here. Hopefully some more parallels. But guys, definitely, uh, if you haven't already, go buy some of this product. It's a lot of fun. It's a great rip. Definitely recommend it. Um, the retail boxes are, are really good. As you can see, if you watch this video and the other videos, the, the retail boxes have been really solid. I mean, even, even in the ones that we, the retail boxes we didn't pull like massive hits out of, we still got a huge stack of, oh, we got something backwards here. We still got a huge stack of like really nice base rookie cards, which I mean, just that, like with how many good rookies there are in this class, that makes it, makes it worth it for and, and constitutes it as a buy for me. All right, Arizona. Alec Thomas, maybe? Is this a short print? Oh, guys, we pull an Alec Thomas short print. Wow. <laughs> we stay hot. We are, we are staying hot right now, guys and girls. Let's go. I got to sleeve this one up, so just give me a sec, guys. Oh, my gosh. We are doing fantastic. We are thriving right now. I have, actually, I'm, I think I'm just going to replace Elliot Ramos with Alec Thomas short print. Awesome card. Let's go. That's exactly, exactly what I was hoping for. Another short print, man. Let's go. These boxes are just so fun, man. Have I told you guys that yet? <laughs> All right. We got anything left in the tank. Let's find out. We got a rainbow foil. It's a rookie for the twins. Yohan Duran. Okay. That's not bad, actually. He had a really nice rookie year. Really nice rookie year. So I'm not mad about that at all. Unfortunately, pitchers and their cards are not... Worth as much, um, they're not as collectible, I guess, as the hitters. So even when you pull a nice pitcher, it's still really not that exciting. Um, you know, just because the pitcher's cards really just aren't worth as much, um, sadly. So, All right, guys, we got four more packs. We got a gold on the bottom here. It's going to be one of the last cards we rip. See if we can get anything else other than that. Jeremy Pena. If you guys did enjoy, by the way, please show support. Let me know you're enjoying the videos. And I appreciate everyone who's stuck around this long and is still watching. You guys are the real ones. Oh, wait, we got a hit here. We have got a hit here. I think it's just a relic, but we have got a hit. Come on. An auto would be absolutely amazing right now. Let's see what it is. Is it numbered? I don't see any numbers. We're just going to flip it. Oh! Oh, it is numbered on the front. Aaron Judge Relic to 199 Look at that patch. That is a sweet-looking patch. We get a little pinstripe. Wow, okay. Guys, we continue the hot streak. We just keep going. I got to sleeve this one up real quick um, before we finish up. Wow, very nice relic. I mean, if you're going to pull a relic out of this, this is, this is the kind of relic you want. Awesome. Aaron Judge relic. Really sweet looking card. Let's put it on this side. There's a little more space over here. Wow. Okay. We're not done, guys. We still had another gold in here. Um, we might have something else other than that as well. So let's find out. I think it's just going to be the gold. And then we're done. And then we'll do a quick recap. All right, we got a gold here. Let's first pull this Stars of MLB from the back. It's going to be Carlos Correa. And then our gold. Let's find out what team it is. Uh, is it going to be Elliot Ramos again? Carlos Rodon, okay. 
to 2022 on the gold. All right, not bad. He's a stud. So guys, wow, we did pretty damn good in this rip, I, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, let's do a quick recap. These are all the parallels and other nice things. Sixteen, sixteen numbered or not all numbers. Sixteen parallels plus this one makes it seventeen. That's really solid. Let's let's recap this. We got an Aaron Judge relic to one ninety nine with the pinstripe. Sweet, Alec Thomas rookie short print. Let's actually look at the code. Yes, it's a regular short print. Wow, very nice card. We've got the Roy Campanella short print as well. That's a pretty sweet one. The Royal Blue Bobby Wood Jr. Rookie Debut. And the big boy from this video, guys. I know it looks like a pretty normal card, but it's vintage stock. As you can see, um, the logo here in the top corner is a little bit different. It's the vintage stock Bobby Witt Jr. Rookie Debut. And this thing is numbered to 99. Wow. Okay, guys, we absolutely crushed it in this video. Um, not to mention, this is our stack of guys who I thought were nice rookies. I mean, that's a lot of cards. That is a crap ton of cards. A lot of nice rookies. Wait, we had another. Oh, I dropped a parallel in here. So we actually had, what, 18? Yeah, 18 parallels. That is really solid. Wow. Um, so, guys, let me know what you think. Like I said, highly recommend you go check out this release. If you have not bought any yet, you should probably do it. Um, if this didn't convince you, I don't know what will. Uh, but yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all. If you stuck around this long, appreciate y'all for tuning in. I will see you on the next one. Peace.